Hi guys, today's video I am going to show you how to implement pagination with Laravel React application and let's see the step by step. So let me go to my terminal and I already downloaded fresh Laravel application and also installed React starter kit. So let me open to my VS code editor. Yeah, so let's wait a moment to load. Okay, and now you can see that we have a ready application and also installed React Starter Kit. So let me go and show you the files. Okay, so if I go to the resources, JS, you can see that component, app, and if I go to the pages, I have a dashboard and welcome page and all the things are installed over here. Okay, and let me run this application. So PHP artisan, sir. Okay, and let me go to the Chrome, okay and localhost 8000 and you can see that we have already installed laravel 12 application and go to the register and if i go and use the fact filler to fill the all the datas and click on create account you can see that we have a plan starter kit installed over here okay now what i'm going to the next i will add new menu over here call users and i will list off all the users with the pagination okay so let me create a controller for it so php artisan mac controller and let's see user controller i'm not going to use resource controller so i will just keep uh, con user controller okay now let me go and uh, create new route for it so just uh, i will create new route get and users then user controller column column class and i will also define the method index and save it okay and now let me go to the controller so if i go to the http controllers and user controller here i am going to create new method called index okay and then i will return inertia okay because we are going to use inertia plus react so inertia render and i will create users inside the user i will create index file okay save it so what i need to do first i need to create users folder inside my js so let me go to the pages here i am going to create new folder call users hit enter and then inside the users folder i am going to create first index method okay so just index tsx file okay hit enter first of all i will copy the dashboard file so just copy this and paste it because by default they are import theme and all the things okay so i'm going to use that one directly and instead of dashboard i'm going to change to users and url will be users that's great okay and title also will be users good and let me remove this all so we can make it plain delete okay now what i need to do just go here and i need to add let me go to the component and sidebar i need to add users link okay so here if i say users and users will be href okay so now let me go here and hit refresh it's nothing because we need to run the server npm run dev okay so it will be rendered the js okay and now if i refresh okay you can see that users if i click on it there is a blank page over here now i will display the users in pagination with table format okay so how can we do so go here and first of all i will pass the user data like this way user colon colon so users key and then user and i will use latest and paginate file okay and just save it okay and user let me import it as well user model save it okay so that means we have a uh, pagination five user okay and now let me go here into the index.jx file and here instead of dashboard i will just say index because we have changed the file and as an argument we are getting the list of users that we already passed and just console.log and see what we are getting because that's important save okay and now let me go here and let's see in the inspect element and refresh yeah you can see that now we are getting data like this way inside the data i am getting all the users right now we have just one user 
but you can see that I can get the links that means we have a pagination and next page and all the things I am going to get okay so first of all I will uh, display in the table this uh, data uh, okay data so let me go here and I am going to use tw table okay because I have already created custom snippets to speed up the video so just hit enter save it okay and here I am going to just say users dot data dot map and inside that i will get id name and email okay and and let me finish over here okay and if i go here uh, just put id over here and then here i will add the name and here i will be add email save it and let me change the title as well name and email okay save it and yeah there is a problem so let me go and refresh what happened webhook and if i go email email verification if you mean the render so maybe there is a problem with the data because we already getting the data users here i made a mistake i need to use the curly bracket over here just yeah save it okay now let me go you can see that now we have a list of users so there is a padding we need to add over here so make it proper design so let me go here and <clears throat> add the design so just uh, like p2 p2 save okay and you can see that more space p3 maybe yeah now it's perfect okay and instead of class i'm going to use class name because we are using react so just say class name save it now it's perfect okay you can see that now we have a list of users but right now i have just one user so that way i cannot test it with the pagination so let me create some users so let me go here and php artisan tinker because laravel by default provide and user colon colon factory and i will use count and i will create the 50 records okay and then create and you can see that it's created a 50 record over here and let me go here and if i refresh it now you can see that two three four five six so that means now we have a five records uh, okay over here the next thing is we need to display the pagination over here so how can we do this okay so let me go here and first of all i will create new component for the pagination so inside the component i will create a new file call page nation.tsx okay yeah in this file i am going to just export default function and i will create pagination function and i will pass as an argument links because i already show you in the links so let me go here and if i click over here uh, we have already links how many pages you can see that with the url with the labels and that is the active inactive that all the status laravel already provided so that links array we are going to use over here for the pagination okay and then i will just say return and here i will use my custom snippet pagination and you can see that in this code i have already array and inside the array i will get links and index then i will use links link of the inertia.js so let me go here and go to the documentation here you can see that they have already provided how to import the link so i will just copy this line go here and here i am going to top of the file i will import the link okay then you can see that i have set the key from the index and then href so sometime like when your current page that uh, time you will uh, you will see the blank so let me go here and show you you can see that zero like previous that url is null when you have a null then i am going to set the hash then i am going to set the label so label you can see that we are getting like this way one two three and previous and if i go to the next so that means these labels we are going to display over here and then i'm going to add the class so you can see that this is tilewind css class if there is active then it should be a background blue and something like that and if there is an like when uh, hover over it should be a cursor pointer and that class we have added so save this file this is very important and now let me go to the index so uh, we don't have to do every time okay so let me go here and import the pagination over here import pagination 
from the component that's cool okay so now we can use this pagination component over here like this way so pagination and you can see that as an argument we are going to pass the link so i can pass link like this way links and link we are getting users dot links save it okay so this is cool and now let me go here and you can see that now we have a ready pagination over here if i click on four you can see that if i click on six when you click it you can see that that uh, also current page is active over here also it's going to show you click on four you can see that click on two so this is the pagination this is very simple pagination and it is working perfectly fine so i hope guys you understand how easily we can create the pagination with laravel react application and if you like this video then share it with your friends and don't forget to subscribe my channel please uh, uh, see you in the next video guys